So, you're probably wondering why we're covering this. It doesn't really seem like our normal shtick. Well, to be honest, it's just goddamn funny. It really, really is. And the jokes, the memes, literally write themselves. Iran acknowledges blast at Space Center. Okay. Why, why did the space, Iranian Space Center have a blast? Iran has confirmed an explosion at one of its launch pads after satellite photos showed the blast last week, saying it was due to a technical malfunction. Alakma! Government spokesman Rayo Shabir, I might be mispronouncing, said on September the 2nd that the explosion at the something space centre in the north of the country occurred during a test stage and ruled out the possibility of sabotage. No satellite had yet been transferred to the launch pad, Rayev told reporters, adding that the incident did not result in any fatalities. Ah, I heard there was deaths. I thought it was going to be funny. The August 29th explosion is believed to be the third failure involving Iranian rockets this year. The United States had nothing to do with the catastrophic accident during final launch preparations for the Sheriff rocket, President Donald Trump wrote in an August 30th tweet that was accompanied by this satellite image that appears to show a destroyed missile and significant damage to the launch site. So, Rebbe criticised Trump for gleefully tweeting about it. Fortunately, our knowledge is that this field is increased by... Sorry. Fortunately, our knowledge in, in this field is increased by the day, the spokesman said, referring to Iran's space program. On August 24th, the US National Public Radio, citing si uh, satellite imagery... It received from Planet Labs reported that it appeared that if Iran was preparing to launch a rocket into space. Washington accused Tehran of using the technology to launch satellites into orbit as a part of its effort to develop ballistic miscapables of delivering nuclear weapons. Iran denies the accusation. The country has sent several satellites into orbit over the past decade and in 2013 claimed to have launched a monkey into space. Oof, that's problematic. The latest uh, incident came in the heightened tension between Tehran and Washington after Trump withdrew the United States from the 2015 nuclear agreement. But the left has obviously been triggered by this. Secrets out. Careless Donald Trump shares classified picture of explosion at Iranian S uh, space center not meant for the public. Which is weird because that photo there looks a lot like that photo. I, I don't know what, uh, maybe because of the damage support vehicle damage. Like, I, I don't get why this photo is so much different than this one. I really, I really don't. But anyway. So Donald Trump is believed to be branded careless after he tweeted what's believed to be a classified photo of an explosion at Iranian air center. Experts say the air, aerial image was, which shows the charred remains of the rocket was not meant to be shown to the public. Which experts? Because when you go down here, uh, but it will keep going with the story and we'll get to that in a sec. But the U.S. president yesterday shared a high-resolution picture completely with anecdotes pointing to damaged vehicles at the launch country and the Interarm Space Center. It's also said, to, said the blast involves Iranian Sheriff satellite rocket. Tweet, uh, the tweet was snaps of a physical copy of a satellite image pr uh, provided to Mr. Trump at an intelligence briefing on Friday, the U.S. defense official told CNBC. Doesn't necessarily mean at the end of the day that it came from a classified source. Far as we know, they could have used Google Earth. Right? We don't know where the photo came from. The, uh, the, the tweet, uh, Trump tweeted, The United States of America was not involved in the catastrophic accident during the final launch preparations for the Shafir SLV launch at Sermon Island Site 1 in Iran. I wish Iran best wishes and good luck in determining what happened to Site 1. 
Uh, Melissa Hamram, Deputy Director of Open Nuclear Network, said she had never seen an image this sharp. She added, I'm not supposed to see stuff this good. He's not supposed to share it. The defense expert Jeffrey Lewis, a nuclear weapons expert at the Melbourne Institute of International Studies at Monetary, uh, Monetary, Monetary, said, I think it's extremely unlikely the U.S. has anything to do with the explosion and it's a monetary bad idea to hint that we might have. But Trump said, uh, but Trump said he had the absolute right to share the image on Twitter with his 63.7 million followers. He explained we had the photo and I released it, which I had the absolute right to do. Asked where the photo came from, Trump told the reporters at the White House, you'll have to figure that one out for yourself. The rocket exploded on Thursday, the satellite images, blah, blah, blah. So, uh, state media and officials did not immediately acknowledge the incident at their armed um, space center and our armed um, Sarah province. However, the images by Planet Labs Inc. showed what appeared to be the smoldering remains of a rocket and its launch standard. In previous days, satellite images had shown officials that they repainted the launch pad blue. On Thursday morning, half of the paint apparently had been burnt away. Look, at the end of the day, what's my view on this? I, I reckon Trump shared the tweet because they were not claiming that this happened. I believe that Trump heard rumours they were going to deny it, so he released the photo. Is it a classified photo? Probably not. It's probably a photo from any number of drones or anything like that. God, it could have been some kid who flew his drone over it. For all we know, Trump found it on Twitter and reposted it. Even if it was a photo from the military, I imagine Trump has received clearance to post it. So at the end of the day, am I upset with Trump posting it? Not really. To be honest, I think it's more funny that everything Iran seems to touch wants to blow up. Allah Akbar. And at the end of the day, I'm wondering if they might have fueled the rocket with jihadis. But the memes write themselves. It's... Yeah. Yeah. Like... I, I was going to say a joke about did they hear Allah Akbar before the rocket blew up, but... Apparently no one died, so I can't say that one. But, you know. Look, at the end of the day, I, I think this is just a media having Trump derangement syndrome. It really, really is. And at the end of the day, I think it was just kind of funny that Trump said, Hey, yeah, 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 well, yeah, really? You're not, you're not admitting that? The, the rocket blew up? Well, here's a photo. Now now tell us what you think. But it, it's more it's more funny when the left lose their shit over this. And, oh, Trump's careless for showing a photo. Trump's careless for showing a photo of a satellite rocket that they were launching that they could or might or might not be used to send nuclear weapons over to America. I wonder why he's sharing the photo. Because he wants people to know why he left the Iranian deal. Makes sense to me. Look at what Iran is doing with their space program. They're making rockets, people. This is why I left the Iran deal. By the way, the people that backed the Iran deal were a bunch of Obama supporters who, by the way, Obama was the one that did it. So, yeah, at the end of the day, them getting upset with Trump is more of a fact that him taking a shot at their old president for something that he supposedly, although we know he did, that he, that he put through, that Trump has since quit. You know, they lost their shit when Trump pulled out of this deal because it was a bad idea. And here he is posting on Twitter photos of our arm building rockets. All of a sudden, Trump leaving that Iran deal for all that money and saving all that cash seemed like it might be a smart move because it seems like Iran is building rockets. Sure, some of them might blow up on the launch pad, but there's a bigger picture here. And that's why I reckon Trump shared it. And that's why I reckon the media is upset. But I don't know, guys. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. What are your thoughts on Iran, Allah Akbaring their rocket? 
Um, do you think it was sabotage? Do you think it was an accident? They've come out and said that they don't suspect sabotage, so I don't think it was. I think it was just a, a rocket. Look, rockets are basically a whole bunch of jet fuel with a little platform thing on top of it. It's not the smartest move to get into orbit, but at the moment, it's all we've got. So, yeah, I'm not supposed where some of them blow up. America's lost rockets in the future, too. In the past, sorry, too. So, same as Russia. Russia's lost rockets. Everybody's lost rockets that's tried to go into space. Part of... I, I lost rockets building rockets. I used to build model rockets as a kid. I lost a few of those on the launch pad. Some of them were more funny than others because you deliberately tend to overstoke the rocket fuel because you want to see how high you can get the rocket. That doesn't always work out well. And it's probably just a simple math calculation that fucked up and all of a sudden the rocket blew up on the launch pad. No big deal. But the left wants to make it one. Let me know what your thoughts are in that comment section below. Apart from that, guys, this will be the last video for the day. Well, I do want to talk about David Chappelle because I did watch that over the weekend. I'll probably do that tomorrow. Um, by the way, it was good. Side spoilers. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. But we will do a video breakdown of it probably tomorrow. Uh, apart from that, guys, uh, yeah, let me know what your thoughts are in, in the comment section below of any of the videos that we uploaded today. Also, there's a video going up on Gaming Caf, uh, Gamers Cafe, where we've also gone through and uh, we've played some space games, so that's gone up. Um, so yeah, links in the description below, and also on the side where if you're on YouTube where it says related channels. Enjoy, have a great night, and we'll see you guys in the next demonetized video from YouTube. Have a great day.